We've been talking about decluttering um, earlier in the show and just how it can make such a big difference in your life on an emotional level. So let's give the folks out there tips to get yes. started now. To get started now. So if you are a natural purger, you're going to be like, this is no problemo. This is no problem. If you are more of a gatherer, so here I find that gatherers need a, few, a system, a process, yeah. okay? So number one, actually, I, we'll just kind of set the stage. I would really get the whole family on board. Okay. Get the whole family on board so that everybody's kind of doing their own little section uh -huh. um, and get the music. You oh, want to yeah. actually, because you don't want it to be like work. Make it fun. Like, oh, we're decluttering, right? <laughs> like put on like the music loud. When we do it at, at home, we'll each kind of take our section. We like crank the music so that it's like a great vibe. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, like in school, you would kind of like, you know, some like, you know, once a week on a Friday, you'd always kind of go through your desk and you kind of organize your desk. Mm -hmm. Think of it kind of like the same thing. So you just kind of want to. That's so funny because people probably have not been doing that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe that's the problem. That's something me Maybe. you would do. <laughs> it's a generational thing. I'm just going to organize my desk I, today because it's Friday. <laughs> People at home are like, what? But, but you know what? I would have teachers. I would, did you not have teachers where they would like set a day to clean out your desk? Did you no, ever get that? I don't remember you didn't that. Get that? Did I, I anybody think, get that? I think I would. Some people got I that. I would do that anyways. You would do that, yes. Yeah. Okay. I yes. wanted to tidy it up oh, before I love the, the teachers. Week starts. I would love the teachers that were like, Friday, we're going to like all clean out our desk. So it was like sweet. a sign. So anyway, you want to like just to set the stage, you want all your, everybody to do it at the same time. Okay. Okay. So th as tip number one, though, is to think small. This is one of yeah. the biggest issues is that people will think, I've got to clean up my whole room. If you're a natural at this, you'll be fine with that. If you're a natural gatherer, that's going to seem too much. Mm -hmm. so then you feel overwhelmed, then you don't do anything. So think of one small section in your space that you can start and finish. Okay. So if it's in your bedroom, maybe you just do the closets, or maybe you just do your drawers, yep. or maybe you just do under the bed. Think of one small section, because the idea is that you want to start. Mm -hmm. Once you start and you actually see it completed, it's going to breed energy, that emotional energy, and then you'll actually want to continue it. So You're think small right. is very, very important. Yeah. Really good tip. Yep. Uh, and the next one, take all the items out of the area, <clears throat> put it into four yes. piles. Four piles. And so with our kids, what we do is actually I write down these four steps. Steps, and they actually keep it in their locker or in their in their uh, room locker, which is actually really cute. So you take everything out because to really properly declutter, I find you have to take everything out. Yeah. You don't want to like just try to like declutter while it's in that space. So take everything out, clean it, mm -hmm. and then put into four different piles. So mm -hmm. pile number one is you keep. Pile number two is the garbage. Pile number three is kind of giveaway or you're selling. Remember, mm -hmm. you want to try to make a little bit of money. And number four is like repair. Okay. Okay, so you put those into the four different piles. And mm -hmm. again, these are great uh, skills you can teach your kids. Yes. Okay, so that the, it becomes like a rhythm, right? Like the, in terms mm -hmm. of how to actually do it. So it's really important to get everything out and then put in these four different piles. Okay. Uh, yeah. Step three, finish the four piles and get ready to feel Energized. Yes. Get ready to feel energized. So once you have these four piles, what you want to do is you want to make sure you finish. So take the garbage, take it to the garbage. Right. The keep stuff, you put it away. The repair stuff, you. So you want to make sure you finish it. Otherwise, what happens is you have now four piles, Same and there. oh dear, now I've got to go somewhere, and I'm now coming home, and I have no four piles, and I'm not feeling energized. I'm actually feeling overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So you want to really make sure you finish those four different piles. And again, if you're doing it as a family, you can put all the garbage then together, take it out. All the giveaway, you give it yes. away, right? To Salvation Army or where, wherever you want to. It's when you finish even that small section, that is what's going to breathe that amazing yes. emotional energy. And just watch a person with when they're finished. They're like, oh, oh, this feels so good. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, this is so awesome. Oh, now I want to do another section. And it really does kind of breathe that, uh, it's like a, a natural recharger. And then as a family, celebrate. Get pizza. Yes. Right? I kind of do something so that you're actually making it part of your family culture. I love that. Okay, this yeah. isn't an excuse, but let me tell you, it's that last step that stops me every time. What's that? Because I don't want to come home to the four piles. Right. Okay. So if I have yes. like a giveaway section, yes. I almost want all those 17 people at my house to come and take it. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. Like, because yep. what's going to happen is I'm going to take it all down to the foyer, yeah. and there's going to be eight garbage bags in the right. foyer, right. and that is going to make me lose my mind. Right. So yes. then I don't even start the process okay. unless I have an actual way to finish to it. To finish it. It's so the finishing. Yes. It's the finishing. So yep. I need to be organized and yep. figure out, okay, this is going to the Diabetes Society. Yes. This is going yes. here right away. Yes, right away. But really good tips. Yeah.